Hey, what's up, guys? So today is day twenty-nine of um, Road to Grandmaster. Alright, so before I start the uh, our main topic today, I'd like to um, uh, answer the two exercises I gave yesterday. So this this is the first one. Okay, so this one is actually white wind. Well, it's quite instructive because I thought it, it's a draw. So, uh, it's white to move. So basically, the knight is trapped. So basically, the king have this tr this three square because he need to keep attack the pawn. Right. So basically, what I think is like, for instance, bishop d four, then king b five, um, keep attacking the pawn, and I thought it would be a draw because you, if your bishop moves somewhere, the king can go to c five or b six. And then go b6, and then when you go to d4, they go b5. That's that's the point. So um, you want to get this position, and it's um, uh, and it's black to move, and it will be to Zhuang. Right? It's what if, if it's white to move, and black can save a draw. So the ba that's basically what what I thought. So I I'm thought like basically we can't avoid the the this. This king to like to b5, then we go bishop d4. Right, so I thought it's a draw, but actually it's a win. So the first move is bishop c3. King b6 is a it's forced basically because king b5, bishop d4 lose for black, so you have to go king b6. You only go to b5 when the bishop's on d4. Right, okay, so check again, you have to go king b5. And now knight f6 check is basically a threat, so bishop d8. Alright, bishop knight to g7 it's fine, but you have to stop knight f6 check. In knight g7, I guess we just push c7. So now you have to move the king, king c5, bishop g5, king here, and now bishop h4. Alright, a brilliant waiting move. Not bishop e3 seems like okay. Um, the king had no move, but the, the bishop need to on d4. To cut the king off, also control the knight. So now there's knight of six check. Black saved the game. So actually, bishop h4 is the move here. A waiting move, king c5. Now you go check. Now, somehow you trick your opponent. Because now you get it. This position. So king d5, you still go bishop d4. The takes, you take the knight. So the knight like, only moves bishop, knight, knight d6, c7. Zhuang, white win. The knight move, we promote. King move, we take the knight. White win. Alright, so this is like very very pure technique. Alright, this is like pure skill. Right, somehow you win. Alright, that's the first example. So let's move on to the second one. Um, okay, this is the second one. Wait, just give me a quick second. Okay, so this is the second one. Yeah, okay, so this is actually a draw. King v1 is the first move. Right, so, what we want is we want to um, let our opponent take this two pawn and then, like, Okay, let, let, let's see. So g4 doesn't work because of king c2. You, you move the knight, bishop b3, and then king d3. Right, knight b2, bishop g7 is basically hopeless. Right, uh, it will be a stalemate. Like king b1, bishop takes b2, it will be a stalemate if you don't have this pawn. So that's why we, we need to get rid of this two pawn. And it will be a draw. So king b1, first move. Uh, bishop g5. Alright, if we go bishop d2, then we go g4. Bishop g5, then g3. Alright, so bishop g5, g4, and now we give up the pawn. g4. Now g3 is not good because now it's your turn. And it's looks wrong. Black win. King c2. So g4 is the move here. And now we give up the pawn again. Take. King a1. Knight b2, bishop f6. 
If c3, then simply knight f4, take the pawn. So we should have 6, and now king a2, still mate. That's how you, you win the game. So, sorry, that's how you, you draw, you save the game, the draw. So, you want to give up the, the two pawn. Now, g3 doesn't work because you, you you can't get rid of this pawn. So, like knight b2, it's not still mate because you, you still have this pawn. So, you, you need to get, get rid of all your pawn. And it will be a draw, like this. Alright, so that's the, the answer of the exercise I gave yesterday. So let's move on to the main topic today. Um, okay, so oh, okay, just give me a quick second. Okay, so today's topic is Knight Pawn versus bishop uh, so before it like yesterday we learned about bishop pawn versus knight so this uh, today we're going to learn about knight pawn versus bishop so a bishop is a strong piece sometimes capable of preventing a pawn from queening even without the king's help let's see so let's look at this case all right so it should be a good move White threatens to interference with the move knight c6. So bishop e8 is basically forced. Um, so knight d7, king g2, king d8, uh, bishop g6, king e7, bishop f5, knight c5, the threat is knight e6, now you go bishop c8 and draw. There's no way to. to to push the pawn or interference the, the bishop. Alright. So black was safe first of all because the pawn had not yet reached the seventh rank. And second one because the bishop's diagonal was um, sufficient sufficiently long. Right, five square. Right, five square. Knight and king are only capable of um, in interdicting two square a piece so like king can control two square knight can control two square so bishop have five square so it, it, for sure this bishop can stop the pawn right which leaves the fifth square free yeah like i said so the king the king and knight combined can also uh, King and knight combined can only control four square, right? So leave the fifth square free. If we move the position one file to the left, so let's say there's no a file, right? So the diagonal grows shorter and black will lose. Let's see. Let's see what's. Uh, let's see the example. Just give me a quick second. Okay, so here's the example. Alright, so like I said, now the bishop only have four square. So king and knight can cover all of them. Let's see. Bishop d8, knight f4, knight e6, and king a6. Black loss. Right, these examples show us like the two basic techniques for promoting the pawn. Right, first, driving the bishop off the diagonal. Second, um, is interference. Right. So if the bishop can't handle the job on its own, right, which is what happens most o often, then the outcome depends upon um, the position of the defending king right can it prevent the bishop from being interfered with interfere with or driving off right, so let's look at right, more example so okay let's look at this one
Yeah, okay, this one. Um, okay, so in this case, with the king on a1, b1, white would win with king d5, king c4, king b5, king a6, and king to, to b7. Alright, but here, the king is on b2, or with the king on c1, also, black could save a draw. So uh, on b2 and c1, black can save a draw. It's not incredible, let's see how. So, king d5, king c3, king c5, king d3, king b5, sorry, king d3, king b5, king d4, king a6, king d5, king b7, king d6. And black saved the bishop, and next we're going to take the pawn, and then, okay, it's, it's a draw. Now, um, king a3 would be a mistake. It, it seems the most natural move to prevent, the most natural move to prevent this idea, but turns out that it's losing because it's one. Alright, this is how the king, uh, uh, this is how white, white win if the king's on a2 in the starting position. Alright, this is how white win. Um, let's see if, if, let's say you play king b3, um, hoping for king c5. Now you go king a4, and now white's the one in took one. But now, unfortunately, there's the move ninety four check, and ninety six king king c king c six. There's no no way to stop ninety seven, and yeah, so ninety seven and queen, it's unstoppable. Um, yep. So, uh, so yeah, this is it. so okay. The only move to draw is. King c3, king d3, and then we go go like this to defend the bishop. Let's look at another plan with king e7. Now I go king c3 or king d3, doesn't really matter. Knight d8, king c4, knight e6, bishop a5, king d6. With the idea of knight c7. But now there's just check. Alright. And you can't play knight c5 because the kings control that square. Right, so it's very important for white, sorry, for black to control the c5 square. Alright. So, now, let's see, let's see, uh, if the king is on c1, this and the p this plan leads to a win for white now right, let's see how so king e7 works now now king d5 now it doesn't work because of the same thing so the winning move here is king, d king e7 king b2 knight d4 could move um, king d2, there's knight d4, knight e6, and then bishop g3, sorry, yeah, bishop d3, king e8, bishop h4, you have to stop the pawn, knight f8, knight e6, and there's no way to stop. We are attacking, we are attacking the bishop, and there's no way to stop knight e7. So white win, so king b2. Ninety four, bishop a five, knight e six. Now king c three. Um, yeah, okay, king c three, king d six, bishop b four check, and then knight c five. Right. So we, uh, yeah, we are threatens, we are threatening um, knight c seven. So we have to give this check, knight c five. Now it's a win for white because there's knight c five. Your king is not on c four. And white's winning. Bishop a5, knight b7, bishop b6, king c6, 
and we control for the fourth square and oh, we win uh, king c3 let's say you play bishop b4 checks here now there's king f6 good move bishop c3 king f5 bishop a5 king e4 king d5 and there's no way to stop king c6 and knight c7 and white's winning all right so that's basically um the like some some kind of knowledge so now let's look at some tragic comedies <laughs> okay so give me a second okay so this is actually a real game so let's look at th let's take a look at this position the bishop has a hard time with the rook's pawn why because it has only one diagonal to work with right so let's see in this position um black play too straightforwardly and was unable to gain to to gain the the point right so it's actually a winning position black threw it and became a draw and it became a draw let's see so 93 was the move here threatens knight b2 so bishop a1 is basically forced knight b2 king e1 right after king e3 we must answer this with knight a4 king e2 and king c1 and we will see this this position later so uh, let's say you play king d4 here king b1 king d3 and now knight c5 is a very important move I'll tell you why. Right, I'll tell you why later. Um, yeah. Okay. So yeah. So why? Nice five is a very important, very important one. Um, all right. First of all, let's let's look at another one first. So after king. Give me a second. In this position, why not a4? Is a, it's a must. After king b1, king d2, and the win was gone. I'll show you how. Alright, later. So, um, king 1 was played in the real game. Now, king b1. Alright, this was actually a mistake. King d2. He takes a1 and now king c1 good move and now you can see not now you can see basically we have this still mate if the knight is not here it it will be a draw for sure because it's still mate now the problem is we have this two square the knight can't cover this two square at one time so it's actually a draw we just play king c2 king c1 king c2 king c1 your knight can't go can't cover this two square at the same time so your king and pawn can't move and it's actually a draw it is unbelievable right so nice d4 king c2 then we just like we just we just need to go king c1 king c2 now there is way to to win actually so the road to victory it's actually to move knight a4 instead of king b1 right now king e2 king c1 actually transposed to the, to the line I, I mentioned before so the pos the possible variations are king d3 king e3 and king e1 let's look at it one by one first of all king d3 king b1 king d2 and now very important move knight b2 if you take king takes and we promote then the king need to stay on c1 and c1 and c2 so the only square to get there is to go c3 otherwise we just if you go here then we just take so this is the only square and now why it works for, for black because we have, we have this brilliant move knight d3 
powers the c1 square. The king has to move or take then king b2. Black win. Right, in, in the in a real game, now ninety three there's now ninety three there's king c two. Right? And there, there's simply no way to, to, to get the same position like yeah, it's actually no way. So and that's why <laughs> so that's why ninety four like to to find this move re re required a very um very accurate calculation like Mikhail Tao you know so so we just see King D three now let's look at King E three nice D five important move uh sorry sorry King E three right sorry King E three Alright, so king e3, king b1, um, king d3, now king b2, king, king d2 is just gonna knight b2 and transpose, so king d3, knight c5 checks, very important, not king takes a1 because of king c2, and then they just go king c2, king c1, king c2, king, king, king c2, king c1, there's no way to get that position, so you have to go knight c5 check, they move, if they move to d2, knight b3 check, then we take the bishop. Now it takes, and now knight d3 again, or knight b3 wins. Final, let's look at king e1. Now we go knight c5, important move. King e2. Uh, if you try and move, if you try and move the bishop away, we have knight d3 check followed by knight b2. And then we queen. So king e2. Uh, King b1, king d1. Now if you go bishop g7, then knight a4, knight b2. So, yeah, king d1, knight d3, uh, king d2, and knight b2. Okay, and yeah, we just see it, seen it before, and it's a win. Alright, so, um, yeah, so ba basically that's all for today. So, um, as usual before I end the class sorry not the class before I end this video <laughs> uh, before I end this video um, I would like to give two uh, exercise just give me a second okay so this is the first one Okay, this is the first one. Um, it's what to play, what to move, and what's the result. So, so the, the question is the same. White win, black win, or draw? That's... Uh, this three, one, one of these three is your answer. So draw, white win, or black win? Uh, it's what to move. Okay, so this is the first one. Second one. This one... Yeah, okay, this is the second one. Again, it's white to play and uh, white win, black win, or draw. Right, so that's the question. And yeah, basically, that's all for today. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So um, yeah, take care. Bye.